Hi Kiwi! Alrighty, we're gonna play another round of Isaac. I'm somehow in the mood more for this than cassette piece at the moment, so maybe it's just been wa I've been watching you play uh, or watch the videos so much that I've kind of been in the mood. I know I'll be out of the mood very quickly because uh, that's just how it goes on this game. <laughs> I, I feel like I want to play and then I remember, oh, I'm bad. This, go this hurts me. Oh, I mean, I, I do enjoy things that hurt me, I guess. Technology zero. Okay, this is one of my favorite power-ups, even if it's not the strongest, it just, it, it's, if you get a lot of shot speed, it's it's very fun to watch happen. That's a, I think that's a really good item, I just, there's no way I'll ever be able to afford it, unless I get extraordinarily lucky. It, it, extraordinarily lucky. Enunciate, Jeff, enunciate. We will take that. No tinted rocks yet. Alright. So, I, it's probably not the best starting item, but it's it's definitely not a bad one for a change, so... <laughs> I'm at the point where I'll pretty much take anything, and Little Horn should be manageable with this power-up, too. Especially if he bombs himself at any point, we should be able to beat him pretty easily. Whoop, let's touch that. Blazers really don't do much damage until I get damage up, though, so I have to be mindful that it's not really that much of a DPS up. And so, we need to focus on getting this guy down. Anyway, well... <sighs> yep. It was bound to happen eventually. At least unlike the other technologies, this isn't any form of damage down. It's just not much of a damage up either. It's kind of a slight DPS up, so we, we take what we can get. It'd be great if you just teleported onto one of your bombs like you usually do, bud. Maybe, I, maybe I'm maybe i the one who makes the bomb happen. I'm taking way too much damage on Little Horn. There we go. Okay, that, made it, that speeds it along. Tanky little bugger, isn't he? HP up, okay. If I get any soul hearts, that'll be decent. I don't need to go back for the heart. All right, down to the next floor. So let's pick up where we where we left off in cutting the Smash roster. Today we're going to talk about Greninja. So from a character design standpoint, I think he's a really cool design for a Pokemon. I love that they take the like long tongue aesthetic of a frog and then ah shoot, almost made that work. Oh wow, we found the boss room really quick. I guess uh, I, I oops uh, I I. Well, based, oh god, this is like the worst possible room. Oh my god, corn flies. Alright, I still have a 36% chance of getting the double deal. Uh, we're gonna fight the boss first. Ragman, I can... I was about to say... <laughs> me and my hubris. I was about to say, Ragman, I can usually no damage. Um, and then I immediately take damage. So we're, we're, we're going strong. Still have my double chance, though. So it's not terrible. For him not summoning things, because that's where things get really dicey. Up oh, there goes the devil chance. All right. Well, did we have hope? Yes. Should we have had hope? Definitely not. Let's see if I can. Nope. Let's. Man, I suck. All right. At least he. At least I got a heal. <sighs> Slow first two floors. Already wasted three minutes. And I am going for the item room because I need something. Keys can help, but I'm not sold on them. Uh, they're definitely not going to break, make or break the run. Anywho, uh, oh, that's a lot of flies. I think we're good though. So I think the way to effectively use this ability is I have to kind of strafe back and forth so that the tiers are separated out enough to make the lightning happen. The only issue is actually, is it worth doing that? Because then it makes my actual tiers miss. I guess it gives me an option for when I'm trying to dodge these guys, for example. So it's not terrible. Not amazing, though. Nope. Still got hit anyway, so what does it even matter? Here's our item room and a bunch of flies that are probably going to hit me. I don't know where my HP is, but I know it's not in a good place. Alright. Well, an orbital will keep me alive a little bit longer. Still not amazing in terms of damage, though. Well, the run moves on. And I'm going to talk about Gerenantra. So like I was saying, I love his design. I think the uh, the ninja scarf aesthetic with his tongue is is really silly, but really clever for a frog-like Pokemon. So in, from a like just original design standpoint, I love him. Gameplay-wise, I also think they did really uh, pretty cool with his kit. They incorporated water-type moves, but gave him kind of a ninja aesthetic and vibe. Um, so from from that perspective, I do I do like him. But, I mean, based on the tone of my voice, you can already see where this is going. I don't think Greninja should stay. He, his gameplay isn't super unique um, enough to really make me think he has a place. And then on top of that, he, um, 
I'm just gonna drop bomb rock and miss the, the rock, but it's fine. Uh, did I still have my double deal? Even though I didn't, I just get hit. Huh? Still have my double chance. All right, well, we'll try again. At least I got that guy. All right, find find the boss room and maybe have a chance of getting a double deal now. That's the dream every speed run, isn't it? Throw the run by giving up all my HP. Is that little monstro? Okay. Still not, uh, I mean, he's a DPS up, but not a great, oh, of course, they are, they're there. Uh, alright, we're good. Okay, I am taking so much unnecessary damage. Not gonna touch that, because I see it's a threat. Okay, well, it's a good thing I have a soul heart, right? Half a soul heart. Oh my goodness, I am, s I'm not doing too hot. Oh, this is not a good boss. He's so tanky. Well, he bombs himself. I guess there's a chance. No touchy plays, no touchy plays. Little Monstro does some damage to him. Alright, there's our first hit. Still have a chance. <laughs> I should just make a, like a compilation video of all the sounds I make when I'm stressed. Sometimes there, oh, well, there it goes. That was avoidable. I should have just blown up the fire from the get-go. Almost got him. There we go. 1% devil deal? Nope. Not a chance. On to the next floor, I guess. Uh, man, I haven't even made it past Greninja. I'll probably talk more about the roster when I uh, <laughs> inevitably lose this run and make it to the next uh, the next challenge, which I think I'm going to try the Legend of Zelda challenge again, because that one was just so much fun. Um, hard at the end, because that boss is one of the hardest bosses in the game, hands down. But, uh, absolutely fun. Alright, we've already lost our double chance. Great. Not doing great on money, either, so I can't expect anything from the shop beyond a soul heart. Uh, it's hard to get a little monster to hit things. Reliably. Like, there, this run still feels like it has potential somehow, and maybe this is just blind hope. But I, I can't count on double deals, because I, I just don't have the skill level to uh, achieve that pipe dream. It, it just feels like, it, with with laser teal tears, I'm just missing that one item to like really shape up the run. And I know that's that's absolutely incorrect, but I did the tears up with a good DPS up, or t the tears up from Trapecomite is a pretty solid damage up. I just need, I need something more, which is what I need every Isaac run in it. You always need more. Even when you have, like, the perfect build, more is always more fun. Well, not always. I've, I've definitely learned the height of hubris, my, the height of my hubris in some instances uh, with that mentality, but... I mean, just the idea of a double deal state being taken when I probably shouldn't is a good enough example of that. Oh, dearie me. Oh, uh, I was gonna... A any moment I am briefly like, oh, wow, I played that well. I immediately just get shot down in the hubris. Anyway, um, all right, let's try and talk about Greninja. Uh, I, I don't, I'm not going to keep Greninja on my roster, and the reason for that is, again, he he, he is the token generation Pokemon of of that of that of Smash Four, I believe it was. Um, yeah, it was Smash Four. He came out, and um, and and again, gameplay wise, I think he has some very unique mechanics, but I don't think he has enough to really make him stand out from other characters. Also, there's definitely personal bias in this. I don't enjoy playing as Greninja. I don't find his gameplay particularly interesting to play as, unfortunately. So he he loses out in my book. I think trading a bomb for seven cents is worth it. I'm gonna be really upset if the item room is in that down. It is. Ugh. Never lucky. Never lucky. I mean, at this point, I think I need to take every item I can get. And since it's only one more room, what does it even matter at this point? And I have the same odds of getting the double deal with or without this item room, so I may as well go. Um, but yeah, no, Greninja Gren doesn't do enough to stand out to me. He's just the token Pokemon of the generation that that Smash game came out in. And that's the reason he exists in the game as a whole. I do think, I, I, for what he is, though, I think he's a really cool design. Oops, sorry, I hit the mic. Damage up, cool. Alright. And HP up. Damage and HP is always welcome. Uh, and we have enough to buy something at the shop. Eh, let's risk it. Let's see what we can get in this shop. Nothing good. Well, actually, money. 
And maybe I'll get a uh, Steam deal that'll let me buy a whole bunch of things, or 50% off, or what, a Humble Bundle? I'll get, hopefully I get something other than a quarter. Even a quarter is decent, though. Hopefully I get something, I guess, is really what it is. Let's see. Do I get anything? Nope. <laughs> Just some money. But hey, I can almost buy two items out of the shop. So the next floor, assuming we don't get Ultra Greed, will potentially have something that can help, I guess. Not one of my favorite bosses, but always better than the bloat. We'll take Mecha uh, this guy over bloat any day. Lost my devil deal, not a surprise. I remember, like, when I was learning how to play Isaac, the bloat was like my arc, my genuine arch nemesis. I had so much trouble fighting him. And his lesser form is a lot more manageable. I almost no damage to him. I only took two hits, which isn't, all things considered, it isn't bad for me. HP up, okay. All right. Um, so yeah, Greninja's out. Palutena. So, Palutena, if I'm making the argument that Greninja doesn't bring enough originality to the game, then Palutena definitely doesn't either. Her, her, she, she was interesting in Smash 4 because they were doing, they were messing around with the idea of customizable moves. Um, and so you could swap out what her B moves were, and then in Smash Ultimate they got rid of that mechanic, so they just chose her probably most well-rounded options, I would say. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and, uh... And I, I, I very much enjoy playing her, and I'm absolutely about that waifu game, but once again, like, her actual kit isn't that that interesting. I do find it funny that her, her smash attacks have win boxes with the wings, um, which can lead to, if played well, some pretty interesting mechanics, but again, she, she doesn't have enough of a Nintendo identity either. She is the support character to Pit in, in Kid Icarus. Um, and I, I think her witty banter with him is a lot of fun. So she she has a really cool personality, and I like that she, on Palutena's Temple, has a role outside of just being a character. Although, it's Pit who triggers those, it's not her. So, again, an, an, an argument for keeping Pit over Palutena. And if I'm going to... Kid Icarus isn't a big enough uh, IP in Nintendo's catalog to really warrant multiple reps. If, if I were going based on personal preferences and, <clears throat> again the frustrating reality that Nintendo does not have a lot of female representation and I keep cutting out all of the female representation it has um, like I wouldn't want to keep her but I think because I have to pick and choose pretty selectively here she's gonna not make the cut um, her, 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 her I mean thinking about it her neutral B is just a auto oh no I'm not fast enough to outspeed these no oh this isn't fair this is so lame I'm just stuck Gotta wait for them to turn off and then not go running into something when they do. Like, I legit can't move. Do they never turn off? Is this run just dead because of that? They're supposed to turn off after a certain time, usually. Oh, wow. I'm just... This run is over. I, I can't escape. I am legitimately too slow to outspeed these things. Uh... Alright, well, they're not turning off. I guess that is the lamest way to lose a run. Because I, I literally can't do anything. Uh, okay, I have an idea. Uh, this is... Oh, I'm gonna die. Nope. Okay, we're back to where we started. Alright, that's just the run. Wow. Wow, that's just so lame. That's so lame. Oh, well. So which one was the Legend of Zelda challenge? And, hmm. I think it was down here. Isaac's Awakening, I think it was? We're gonna do Cantrip. I have no idea which one, what this one is, but let's do it. I don't wanna do it. I haven't learned how to play this guy. How do I... I don't even know how to switch his abilities. Oh, okay, like that. So I can use D20, Book of Belial, and Metronome? Eh, let's run with it, see what happens. I really haven't messed around with the cursed, uh, cursed characters very much, or whatever they are, the secret characters. Um, D20 rerolls items, if I recall. This is a big room. Let's let's uh, swap out for Book of Belial. Oh wait, I can't use it. Oh, it's consumable. Okay. Well, that would have been good to save for a boss fight, I suppose. Ooh. Okay. Oh. Okay. This is interesting. So basically, I get a single use of these. Oh, excellent. Okay. Okay, I get it. So I basically I get space bar items that I can then consume, and the D20 will let me roll them, re-roll them once. 
Interesting, interesting. And we only have to make it to mom. I think I can do this. I think I can do this challenge. All right, let's move along. And now that I'm not being pressured into thinking on the on the fastest pace possible, um, yeah. So, so Palutena, I'm just gonna use it. No bombs to use that. Okay. Um, Pal Palutena, I think I enjoy her gameplay. I enjoy her uh, character and everything, but she she lacks the the staying power that other uh, more iconic characters from Nintendo have. And I don't think they're ever going to get rid of Pit just because of the sheer volume of effort they put into. Um, I'm going to use this so I can open that up. Uh, they put so much effort into the the conversations that they have. Wow, everything in this shop is just cards. I like this though. This is an interesting challenge. I, I think I'll I'll definitely stick with it. Um. It seems like the main thing is I just want to make sure I have a good list of abilities going into a boss fight. And, and Jello is pretty solid for a boss fight. Red Candle is too. So I think what I do is let's let's toss out Jump. I don't need that, and we'll keep this. And we'll use it for the boss. And, and go there. Okay, cool. So, so yeah, Pelotena is going out. I, I very much like her as a character, but I don't like her as a Smash character, maybe. And that's not necessarily right, either. Extra card room. Teleport. Unicorn Stomp. Oh, that's really cool! I can now hold th all of those items. Alright, let's swap this out for Unicorn Stomp. And I don't think I want that. I think... Let's use the D20 in this room, honestly. Because I don't want that. I don't want that. So use the D20 and... <laughs> cool, a skeleton key, that's useful. On to the next floor. Book of Mysteries I may as well use here. Or Book of Secrets. Uh, I don't, it shows me the map. Okay, so let's head this way. Unlimited bombs, heck yeah! Oh gosh, why all the spiders? Why all the spiders? <laughs> Just kept being more spiders. I don't want more spiders. Oh, uh, I'm stuck. <laughs> I actually have a surprisingly large amount of HP, so I guess it's fine to be aggressive like that. All right, let's see what our new card is. Uh, that mass fear, I think that does. Um, man, I'm having a hard time focusing on Smash, aren't I? Anyway, let's let's move on from Palutena. Uh, so next up is Pac-Man. Pac-Man's a keeper. Pac-Man is iconic, has been for the ages, and like if I'm gonna argue to keep Mr. Game and Watch, I'm definitely arguing to keep Mr. Pac-Man. Um, and also, I think Pac-Man's gameplay is super interesting. He he plays honestly kind of similar to Sonic, and I'm I'm thinking about learning him because because of that. Um, that one consumes my trinket. So if I get a trinket I like, I'll keep this one for now. And I'll switch to Mass Sphere, because I'll probably dump this one here. And let's just use it. Oh, it's Mass Paralysis. Okay, that makes this a little bit faster. I like that. Not not a terribly useful ability outside of the right context, so... I do... I like the idea of this run, though. Just having, like, single-use consumable spacebar items, but the drop rate of them is very high. I'm basically playing Sticker Star. Or what is it? Yeah, so, um, Paper Mario Sticker Star, pretty much. Alright. Uh, we'll use that. Oh! Okay, it did actually double up on them. So if I get another D20, that'll be pretty decent, but let's take this, because I don't actually know what this one does. I don't remember. It's clearly based on the character whose name I've somehow forgotten. Only oh, it summons a boss. Ooh. That's spooky. Alright. Uh, we'll just use Book of Sin and get the free item. Alright, so we definitely want to keep that. That's really strong. Might even save that for the mom fight if I can. Yeah, we'll just set that in reserves. Hunt for a trinket for now. And we'll keep this. Yeah, I'll either use it Keeper's box. Eh, I don't need the mom. 
Oh, right, I forgot. I have unlimited bombs. I got so distracted by everything else. We'll go ahead and stamp her, uh, stamp her this. Uh, do I want the shop? Eh, I don't want the shop. I do want a new card, but I'll get one in. Oh, I went the wrong way. I knew where the boss room was, and I still went the wrong way. Alright. Yeah, I guess I slept too well, and I seem to have a much harder time focusing when I'm uh, when I'm slept rather than underslept, as weird as that is. Or maybe it's just I'm so chronically sleep deprived that it's getting a good night's sleep kind of throws things off. Glass cannon. They fixed glass cannon so that it now doesn't do what it used to, so I think I will take it, actually. I should be able to keep all my HP, in theory. Unless that challenge was specific. Let's find out. Uh, pew pew. That actually did not do very much. Uh, I'll switch to Red Candle, I'll have that out in case I really think I need it. I've got a pretty solid chance of getting a Devil Deal, which is nice. I, I wonder if the Devil Deal also switches out with just cards. Curious to find out. We'll find out soon enough. Let me see if I can hit your baby friend a little bit. I, I know from my experience fighting this boss that most of the time what I deal what I get hit from isn't the, the main boss, but the little thing that does this after he breaks off. <sighs> Alright. So so yeah, Pac-Man. I think his neutral B is fun because it's a reference to a bunch of different both Pac-Man games, but also just classic uh, classic video games. Starter deck is the item I get every time. Interesting. Uh, monster manual. Bean. Don't want that. The spade lets me skip a floor, and if I'm just going to be running on cantrips, maybe... Let's see what it's in here. Yeah. I don't think it's worth it. Flush is funny, but not that good. But it's better than this. Uh. Hmm. You know, since I'm not really benefiting from doing full clears, uh, I was hopeful that using the three books would give me um, Librarian, but since they're just being consumable, it's not quite the same. Alright, so I think the strategy here is we pop down to this floor. Since I'm not getting item rooms and boss rooms just give me more things, I'm just going to skip this floor altogether. Why risk taking damage when I can just go to the next floor immediately? Anyway, um, so, so where was it? Pac-Man. So, his, yeah, his side B plays similar to Sonic. I might think he's similar to Sonic because some of his his aerials also work the same. His back air, his neutral air, are very similar. Um, so from a gameplay point, point of view, I really don't have much experience playing Pac-Man at all. So I can't really entirely bias it on that. But even on character identity alone, Pac-Man is a entirely a, a very iconic character for the older generation. Um, his games are still in arcades worldwide. His um, he's got thousands of IP. Or, no, not thousands, but tens of IPs that kind of switch up his formula to some degree, both in terms of 3D platformers. He even, he even has a Christmas movie for, for, for Lance. I think it's a Christmas movie, at least, because I only remember seeing it at Christmas time. It may just be it has similar vibes to the Christmas movie. I don't know. Uh, Force Palm, Lemonade, Dad, uh, Dad's Key is huge. Oh, we're taking that. We're using that right away. Uh, I think... Let's hold on to Dad's Key for something I'll need it for. I think the next thing I switch out is Flush. If I'm going to let it go. I might just keep it because it's still decent. I'll probably use it on a bigger room. If I find a big room, I'll use it. Yeah. Um, yeah, so 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 absolutely keeping Pac-Man. I think he checks off all of those marks that I gave myself in terms of unique gameplay, important, iconic history in video games, and uh, whatever the third check mark was that I can't think of right now. <laughs> Because it's been a long time since I recorded this this kind of train of thought. Next up, we have Robin. So Robin is is a hard one because I think Robin has a enough of a unique identity um, in terms of um, sword fighter because he's he's a mage sword. He 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 uh, his his neutral bees are, are fun. Um, giving him PK fire basically from Ness's kit with his side B. I love charging up Thoron, his neutral B, the giant lightning bolt that streaks across the sky, or not the sky, the the the, pla the, the, the playing field. Um, 
really his demerits come down to the fact that one, he is a Fire Emblem character and we have a lot of Fire Emblem reps. Um, but I do think his gameplay is unique enough where, at, where to that, um, or so much so that I could argue for keeping him. Um, he's not a terribly great character in terms of performance. Why am I pushing this over here? I can't bomb those things. Uh, I think I trade bomb for bomb. And then if I get enough bombs, I see what that card is. But I get enough cards anyway. It probably isn't worth taking it. Alright, let's keep scooting this over here. Scoot it right all over there. And this one goes over there too. See, this is how you use your bombs efficiently. Alright, lots of money. We'll go to a shop and pick up some goodies maybe. What is this? I don't actually know what this is. And since I don't know what it is, it means I'm going to use it. Hopefully I don't regret that decision. Oh, okay, it just spawns more items. And since it's an Eden item, I assume it's associated with like maybe the last thing I had. We'll see. We'll see if the cards look similar. One nickel, nothing. <laughs> I'm only using it because I hate that enemy. Portable shop, Mr. Me. Ooh, that's good. Okay, so I think what we're gonna do is I'm gonna temporarily drop Unicorn Stump, because I think I can use that for the mom fight, potentially. Um, we'll take these. We'll use Shoop to Whoop on the boss fight. And, uh... Wee! Spooky, shooty, flies. Eh. Not a good room for these either, because I can't really dodge well. I can't believe how much damage I've taken here. I might actually just have to use Shoop to Whoop on this alone. Ugh, my, my shot rate is so low. Alright, there we go. Okay, I figured it out, but not ideal. Oh, the boss room is that way. Oops. I'm going to use Book of Mysteries again. Alright, now we know where our secret rooms are, so I guess I'll, I'll still experiment for those. And I'll pop the teleporter. I just have to remember to come back to this room. Oh, it's pause. Never mind. It looked like the remote that lets you teleport, so I got it mixed up. Alright, yeah, let's let's get the shop first. These are going to spawn bonies, and I'm going to have such a trouble with them. I really don't have much in the way of damage at all, because I'm not getting any damage off power-ups. Alright, at least I didn't spawn bonies. Uh, ooh. I think we use that in the shop in a moment. Okay, now I have the full map revealed. Okay, so this is the way to the boss room. I was mistaken. I took so much damage in that last room, though. That's unfortunate. Alright. Yeah, let's go ahead and pop this. Get the two soul hearts to keep myself better stocked up on health. And then see what these cards are and if I want them. Okay, yeah, we'll take that for sure. Don't want that. Eh. And... Not worth it. So, the only one that's worth it is here, because we can get another soul heart. Okay, and now we just pick this up on the way out, and we head along our trail. I think, I, I, since I'm having trouble focusing, why don't we call this a break from the Smash roster? I'll kind of just briefly reiterate what I said about Greninja, Palutena, and Pac-Man in, in the next one, but I'm, I'm, I guess I'm not feeling the Smash roster today. And it seems like I'm just on a brain of, I want to comment on the game, because I, I don't know why, I'm just not focusing well on what I'm trying, I can't brain and then side brain at the same time like I usually can. I don't know if that's the right way to describe that, but it isn't en entirely wrong, I suppose. Yeah, the mom fight's going to be a little bit difficult, but I'm just so darn full of HP that it shouldn't be that much of an issue at all. What will be an issue is getting there. I am not... I don't have a lot of DPS, and I'm sitting on some things that I probably should let go. Dead Sea Scroll spawns an item, I think, right? Okay, cool. I got a... Uh, I got a, uh, something or other. Do you do anything? You don't seem to really do anything, but I guess an orbital's an orbital. It may block something one day, and even if it does one thing useful, it's better than not having it at all, I suppose. I have some bombs, so it's probably worth using them for the secret rooms since I know where they are, and secret rooms can get some pretty solid goodies. Bean I don't care about. Another remote. Not sure what this one does. Let's see what's in our secret room. Lots of hearts that I can't use. Well, if I find Dark Bum, that'll be great. I 
Oh, I don't like this. Uh, I could have dodged that. I, I messed up. It looks like the fly occasionally shoots, but the odds are pretty low. Oh, okay, it, it's trying to intercept intercept shots, so it, it tries to block projectiles. Okay, so it's a defensive. I think this one's the pause remote, so I'm going to use it. There we go, that makes him a lot easier to deal with. Take a bone shield, and pick you up to whoop back up. What's in here? Bomb and two coins. Alright, well we can use bombs, and then refunds what we spent. Um, Alright, let's keep moving along. Not a fun room. Actually, my defense fly is doing an, uh, an awesome job keeping me safe. So I guess I can just sort of, as long as there's not too many of them, I can probably just face them down. Yeah, if they get locked into their animation of trying to attack me, my fly just takes out their shots. Cool. That makes this a lot more manageable. Yep, okay, I can only block one shot at a time. Those were unnecessary hits. <laughs> well, I got complacent and thought it would be safe, and clearly I was mistaken. Alright, another red candle will be very good for damage on the boss. How did I lose my devil chance? I never took any red heart damage. Oh, I don't think it is that I lost it. It's that I, uh... Well, getting angel rooms would be actually pretty decent here. Alright, I think I'm going to use Shoop to whoop on this boss and one of the red candles. I'll start with the red candle just to see what damage it does and see if I need to waste Shoop on it. All right. Fire. Alright, that was not too great. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to switch to Shoop and do the damage that it gives. Like so. Uh, ooh, Book of Invincibility, that's good. Uh, got hit. Got hit before I could fire. Oh, that's... Alright, well, this is unideal. We got a bomb. Oh, right, that one drops bombs underneath me. I was thinking of Bob, uh, Bob's bombs, or the Bob-associated uh, bomb. I think, maybe? I don't know what I'm thinking, honestly. Let's not have that used. Yeah, I definitely need Delirium for Mom, because I don't see this boss fight going well without that. I need something to give me damage. Oh, this is such a lame fight. At least I got him past his first phase, so the boss fight immediately becomes a little bit more manageable. Hopping spiders are much less fun to deal with than the uh, smaller ones, I guess. Oh, they're all awful. The spiders in this game are such nightmares to deal with for me. Half the time I don't notice them, and the other half of the time they're just dodging, and I miss them entirely. Starter pack, alright, what you got for me? Blue candle. That makes flies from items, I think. No, I'm mixing that up with something. Oh, starter pack increases the number of things I can hold each time. Alright, so I think... I don't remember... I think... Oh, this is the one that spawns like a stationary fly turret, I think. I did not get enough out of red candle and warrant its use, so I'm going to let this one go, I think. Book of Invincibility is useful, but I don't have any orbitals to make it worthwhile using. We'll keep this, because if that is the stationary fly turret, that will be pretty strong. I think I'm just going to head to the next floor, and I'll use Dad's key for something if I find a use for it. Because I don't think... I, I need to sit on things that do damage, and I don't have any of that right now. Uh, Alright, on to the next floor. Alright, one more HP. Cool, but we don't know where to go. So what would I use Dad's key for? I guess I'll just get free entry to a shop, maybe? I don't know. There, there's definitely a way to use it better. I could go for the shits and giggles and do the uh, boss rush, which sounds like a horrible idea. Boomerang, I'm not going to use, so let's keep this. I'll come back for that if there's ever a time where I find something I want to pick up. I guess I could use Dad's key for a quick escape, too. Um, but for now, I'm just going to do my best not to get hit and fail at it, apparently. I have no... I see where this run becomes difficult, and that is in the lack of damage that you get. I actually... I forget what Blue Candle does in comparison to Red Candle, because I thought they're basically the same item. Why did I kill that before I killed the, the Bomb Spider? Actually, maybe that's the strategy. If I can kill the Bomb Spider, he'll blow all of these guys up. I don't think I'm going to get that chance. They're too fast, and I'm too slow. 
I do really like the design of this challenge. It's like, the challenges are designed to be both difficult, but also fun. Soul Heart taking that, no questions asked. Pickaxe, pickaxe. That, that. Ooh, is there... Oh, I lost my, my defense fly. I guess it was only for one floor. Dad's key. Black hole. <gasps> sprinkler. Okay, sprinkler is really good. Um, actually, it's probably terrible because it scales based on my flea, my, my flea damage, my tear damage. Um, but really nothing damaging here. Pandora's box is useless, or box of friends rather is useless. So I guess I stick with Dad's key for now. I need a, an excuse to use this. Let's go find the shop and maybe get something for free. But I'm really not, I'm not getting damaging spacebar items. I'm getting like utility type ones, which are cool, except the way I would utilize them for their utility is not an option. Like Mr. Me would get me a free double deal, but none of the double items are worth taking because they're all cards. I actually don't know that. They could be actually really good. We're gonna pop that. And take you out with him. D7, I don't remember what it does, but it doesn't do anything that I really want right now, I imagine. Fire that. Hopefully that did some damage. Well, it definitely did some damage. It flashed red, but hopefully it did enough damage that I can... There we go. Ah, D7. Keeping Mr. Me for now. What is what is that other card that I got? Ew. Why do I want to take self-damage here? Uh, I'm looking for the card that I dropped. That one. Alright. Found the boss room. We're going to go straight into it, I think. There's no need to belabor this floor. That said, I am severely lacking damage to make this boss go well, unless it's something easy to deal with, which I don't anticipate it will be. Um, at least I have temporary buddy generator. Maybe I can, or, or I have, I have, whatever this guy's name is, I can use him to deal some damage. Actually, I have to use him to deal damage. He's basically my only source right now. Ooh, okay. Well, that that improved things a little bit. Now I can. Okay, two blue candles. So I think I keep one blue candle. Scrap. Dad's key, because I'm clearly not going to use it. <clears throat> oh, glad I dodged that. I need to get rid of these brimstone things. They are a threat to our survival, for sure. Okay, cool. Man, I have lost a lot of HP. I think I used this in the boss fight, it, assuming Blue Candle does not carry its weight. Since I'm not planning on using this guy for the next fight, nah, I'll keep him. Ooh, but what if it's the bloat? If it's the bloat, I want this. Okay, I've got my plan. Well, blue candle, blue candle, and then uh, I think it's the pit, maybe? And that'll be how we handle this boss. Where's the last enemy? There you are. Got him. Or, I thought I got him, but nope. All right, let's see what that last card is, and then we have our plan. Dead Sea Scrolls again. Pop it. Oh! Well then. Alright. Alright. Blue Candle does a fair bit of damage. Alright, I got all the hits I could on him with that. Oh, the nail. Nice. We'll save that and we'll use the pit here. Brimstone will be helpful for getting rid of his uh, flies. Oh my goodness, my attack speed is so slow. I really, really want to keep this double chance. It takes so, it takes so long for my uh, brimstone to fire off after I let go of the key. Like I'll, I'll show you an example in a second. All right, letting go now. Oh, oh, of course, now it fires instantly, and of course I get hit. Maybe it's only a delay when I switch, uh, change directions I'm targeting. All right, this I don't think it's great. Razor, golden Razor Blade? I don't actually know what that does, but the other one does damage to me. Oh, man, all of these are terrible. All right, Dad's Key, I guess we'll keep. I don't know what this does, but if it's like the other Razor Blade, it damages me, so I don't want it. Um, am I... All right, I think I'm on the second to last floor, which is good, because I definitely need to get out of here. All right, cool. We got two coins at the cost of one. Uh, I really don't want this one, so let's, let's backtrack real quick and see if I can... Uh, Get anything else worth using? No, no, uh, no. Probably worth using that over anything else. Black hole I don't see being good against mom. Monstro's tooth. At least I summon monstro and monstro can do damage. So maybe I keep that. Um. 
I think I'm gonna go ahead and take this because if this is the the fly turret generator if I combo that with sprinkler the pit and little delirium and then just let sprinkler do its damage and I just camp um, I drop bombs and I camp the invulnerability from the book of invincibility or book of Sh I think it's book of shadows maybe I don't know I never really learned the items in this game's name very well anywho I think yes this is the final floor all right not amazing in terms of HP, but maybe I can get something here. I'll try the shop first. If I can get at least a soul heart from the shop, I'll be in a better spot. And since I have the keys, I may as well use them. D5, not worth it. I think Book of Mysteries would be very helpful here, just so I can get to the, uh, to the boss faster, potentially. Oh dear. I don't want to deal with mom's hands while I'm dodging dingles. There's more than one. All right, looks like that's it. It's just two. Okay, and I got one of them down. Cool. Cool. Now I can just focus on the dingles. What did you drop? Of course you dropped the plop. What else could a dingle drop but the plop? Red pill. This one turns things into, fl into flies. So there is a way where I can drop a bunch of things into this room and benefit from that potentially so I might have to employ that strategy just go in with as many flies as I can for that fight all right not a difficult room but a kind of annoying room so I can't reach him well I can but barely and I have to do the running shot I find it interesting how they made it so this game has momentum affect your your uh, abilities Two Dead Sea Scrolls. Okay, I got I got an Eternal Heart, which I guess is good. I don't know what the other two did, unfortunately. All right, not not a good room for me. And there goes my Eternal Heart. But hey, it's a it's a hit of damage that I won't take. I don't think I've gotten any Red Heart drops just yet, so uh, I think I have to deal with the things that are chasing me first. So there we go. That's that's good. Uh, is there any item I can use here that I'm willing to give up? Not really. Clearly, Mr. Me isn't relevant though, so I should get rid of him because I haven't. I was saving him for a double deal. Unless I can find a shop. If I can find a shop, then I can probably make do with Mr. Me. Um, it's mostly I don't foresee that easily happening because if I find the boss room, I'm going into that right away. I more or less have my plan for the boss room at this stage. Basically, I just have to suffer through the fact that I have little to no damage in my base form, and my consumables have been rather lackluster in what they've given me. So if I get anything good, I need to make sure that I save it and use it appropriately. Which right now looks like it's going to be a little uh, delirium, sprinkler, and... Oh, my cat is going absolutely ballistic behind me. Ugh. Cats, man. Biggest distraction in this house, hands down. Aside from my own ADHD. <laughs> um... See if I can get him to perfect. Now I can just get the free hits. Not worth it. Not worth it. Not worth it. See, nothing but crap. All right, so here's the idea. We're gonna make this big room over here. Can I? I can't drop them. Darn. Ah. Uh, all right. I can't cheese it with compost. But I guess this is a good room to use it in. So I'll come back later. I do think I, I do think I'm gonna get rid of Mr. Me just because it's it's not holding onto it is is weakening my options and it's not going to do much against mom actually let's just use him and see if he can do some damage for me all right he did some damage Woohoo! these stone enemies are some of my least favorite enemies in the game they they don't hurt you but they are always in the way and they they, they end up they end up like indirectly hurting you because they just push you into things monster manual may be Good. I think we'll hold on to that. Dead is the next thing I'm going to sacrifice, though. Uh, actually, I wonder if this is worth it. If I use Dad's key to open this door, it's only a card, not worth it. I haven't gotten any red hearts. I'm going to have to play the gamble, I think. But I'll sit on the, on this for now. D5, I definitely don't need. 
Red pill compost. I'll hold on to that because I know I'm going to use it. Um, yeah. I'm basically going to depend on summons for this boss fight, which I think will work. I'm going to assume that spacebar will... I'll still take damage with that spacebar item if I use invulnerability. And I don't want to risk finding out the wrong way. I'm really worried that I'm going to go into the shop and it's going to be a greed fight. Because I really, really do not need a greed fight right now. It's like the worst possible scenario for me. Alright, what do we got? Alright, that's good. Well, if it isn't a greed fight, I at least can buy all the things in the shop, I suppose. Alright. Maybe I should have saved that and used it for compost. Oof, I'm not going to get any HP, am I? Okay. Uh, I can fly, not amazing. Bracelet is whatever. Oops, I messed up. <laughs> Alright. Bracelet is so whatever that I didn't even use it right. Oh, I don't have damage. I don't like this. Uh, is this going to be where the run ends? Because I think this is going to be where the run ends if I'm not careful. Lemon party. That helps. That helps a little bit. Uh, I can't. I couldn't see under the text. Oh, unfortunate. Uh, it 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 just started throwing at the end. Or uh, it. I. I joked. All right. Clearly, as much as I was in the mood for Isaac, my brain was not. Commentary was lackluster. Couldn't focus on Smash and ended with a failure on both the speedrun and this challenge. I do like this challenge though. Uh, um. So. I'll, I'll do this one again. Probably not in the next video, but soon enough. It'll be one of the ones I do sooner than later. Well, with all that said, here's another Isaac video, I suppose. I hope you're sleeping well if you're asleep. I hope this is helping you fall asleep if you aren't. I love you, Kiwi. I'll see you in the next one.